Yan na, good morning, good morning, magandang magandang umaga, magandang ISM sa <laughs> yung lahat yan. Ganda ng galaw ni ISM yesterday, guys, uh, but we're not gonna be talking about uh, that because whenever people say it's the buy signal, it's the sell signal, so ngayon ayoko na humabog kay, kay, kay ISM, right, we talked about that yesterday, sabi ko sa inyo, uh, the, best, uh, day, the, the best entry kay ISM was the two days before, and two days na umaangat si ISM, and malalaking angat naman. Right, so right now, wag na po kayo ma-fomo, wag na nahabulin, please, right? Uh, but we'll talk more about our picks later. Love, please go sa gawas. Right, so sorry about that. Yun, um, yun, um, I have picks for today. Pasensya na. Ayaw, ayaw magtago ng quintus ko. <laughs> right? um, yun. Picks ko for today. Maganda yung market. Very good bounce yesterday. We'll talk about the market anytime soon. I mean, anytime soon. Mamaya, sa gitna ng uh, session natin. Uh, what we're gonna be talking mainly about today is what is the best uh, chart time frame right, to use. Uh, yan. Anong pinakamagandang time frame gamitin for trading right, para sa atin. Especially sa mga newbies. Right? This is gonna be a very good topic. May nag-request nito uh, a few days ago. Um... Yan, i- we're gonna be discussing about this today. Ayan. Um, yun yung picks ko ngayon. VLL, CLC, AEV, JGS, Maxis, MHC, DNL, and MPI. Those are very good companies. Are fundamentally good. Have a very good position. So, very low risk. So, take your pick lang later on. Tingnan nyo po. Uh, especially pagkatapos na ng amateur R nyo bibilhin. Tingnan nyo if may confirmation na pwede pumasok, then you get in. Alright? And test the support. Um, uh, magaganda yung mga positions na mga yan. So, we'll talk about these in a while. Also, but before that, ayun, um, if you're just watching the replay, please move forward around 25 minutes because that's when the discussion is gonna start. Ayan. And then, first up, we're gonna be talking about your requests, your uh, mga requests ninyo, mga comments ninyo. If you have uh, if you have anything to say, please post it in the comments. And yung first part natin hanggang 8.40 in the morning. Good morning to my daughter, Laika, also. Ayan. And good morning sa inyo lahat. Jolly Garas, good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika. Let me just double check my audio and everything. Ayan. Ayan. Ano? Ayan. Um, Jolly Gares, good morning Sir Lloyd and Laika Hops, good morning Sir Lloyd, inputs po sa galaw ng PSEI, would, uh, would also like to request charting for Maxis DNL, yan, nasa, nasa, nasa picks ko ngayon si Maxis DNL, yan, si IRC and SCC, uh, IRC, 
bakit hindi ko nareko si IRC ngayon ng bounce naman? Uh, we'll check that out later. So, isulat ko si uh, IRC and SCC and Semirara. Yan. Sulat ko mga ito. Pandaanan natin mamaya. Alright. IRC and SCC. Ganda naman ang bounce ni IRC kahapon. Eh. I think mataas na yung risk kaya hindi ko na nirecommend. Well, I'm just gonna review it later on. Right? Um, Argel Mendoza, good morning Sir Lloyd and like ISM po. Thanks. Right. ISM, we'll check out ISM also. Yes, yes. Tingnan natin yung chart ni ISM mamaya. Um, yan. Uh, ano yung gusto kong sabihin? Um, then wala sa isip ko eh. <laughs> Mamaya na lang. Rick Romero, good morning Sir Lloyd at sa atin lahat. Good morning din Mabel San Jose. Good morning, see you po on December 29. Mabel, see you on December 29. Yung nga pala guys, so those um, who haven't enrolled yet, if you're a newbie, guys, join the seminar on December 29. Diyan po sa Makati. If dyan naman po, yos, po kayo sa Manila, don't miss out this opportunity. Limited lang po ang seats. Um, December 29, yan, sa Lepanto Building, Makati, uh, we're gonna be talking about my trading strategy, basically, tuturuan ko po kayo ng system. Alright? This is gonna be a very helpful system sa inyo. Don't take my word for it. Tignan nyo po ang mga testimonials na mga naging students ko the past days. It's almost a thousand na siguro ang students ko. Right? It's one of the... Um, yan. Basta, join the seminar. Um, sulit din, guys. Right? Napakamura lang yan so that you can take advantage of the bullish market once it comes. Hindi po, hindi po yung nangangapa pa kayo at tatatalo pa kayo sa bullish market. Sayang naman yung opportunity ng bullish market. Minsan lang ito, isang tao natin pinag, uh, inintay ito. Right, so yan. Um, join the seminar. Please share the video. Pakishare po yung video sa walls ninyo and to your trading groups uh, para po para mga newbies, right, malaman nila na may program na ganito that will help them in their uh, stock market journeys, especially if kakasimula pa lang nila. Follow like, ka. Uh, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Sir Webb po. Thanks, si Webb. Maganda eh. Right? Um, I actually put Web in my picks kanina, but I have to make my list. Uh, I have to make my list very short. But web is good. Andiyan yan kanina, tinanggal ko lang. Ay, nag nagpili lang ako ng mga best lang talaga, right? So web look is is a buy for me actually. Right? So we'll check out web in a while. Bakit? Right? Um RC Abracosa, good morning Sir Lloyd. What are your recommendations for today? Just posted my I just posted my recommendations and Jan. Brilliant on good, good morning Sir Lloyd. And like I advance san po kaya mga gandang entry kay ISM. Di po kasi ako nakasakay kahapon dahil my work insights din po kay Bcore. IRC, CHP, VOL, and PLC. Sila PLC, nag, um, na-hit niya yan na yung point na nagpo-pullback na siya. Um, ISM, if may work ka, I don't want to recommend you uh, trade ISM. Right? It's the, the best possible sana is the day before. Eh. If, but if you're trading, but if ganyan na may trabaho ka, I strongly recommend mag-investor ka na lang. So, just keep buying whenever you see the dips and then you see it trying to Try, um, start starting to bounce. Ganun lang. As of the moment kasi, um, for, especially for trading, high risk na si ISM. I don't recommend na habulin pa si ISM today, as of today. Don't worry, sasabihin ko sa inyo if when is the best next entry point ulit kay ISM. But as of today, might po siyang pasukin, right? It might do a pullback anytime soon. Then, that will be good. Um, that's normal market movement. And then, let's just wait for the next bounce before we want to get in again. Especially for traders, ha? Uh, but for investors naman, you just keep buying pag bumwa, bumababa yan at lumalapit at nagbabounce sa support. Pasukin nyo po kaagad yan. You don't have... Problema kasi, brilliant on is you're trying to really catch the bottom kaya hindi mo binili kahapon may trabaho ka. The day before, sana, di ba? Pwede natin pasukin yun. You're trying to catch the very bottom, the very bounce. And that's not feasible for someone who is working. So, as much as possible, nung unang bounce pa lang, pinasak mo na sana. Right? So, yan. Don't try to catch bottoms, especially if you don't have the time to really watch the market full time. Hindi mo mahuhuli yan. And anyways, it's not about winning at all. Right? Anyo nga sa'yo, Sir Lloyd? This is from Dave Guapo. That is one of my students, right? Um, Anyo nga sa'yo and so, Laika, to my wife watching from South Korea. Sir, barato reviews. Uh, sir, 7.96 po ako nakabili kay ISM. Any thoughts po? Dapat average down ka lang ng average down if ever you're an investor, right? So, so far so good, right? So far so good. Okay na si ISM. Just broke its downtrend yesterday. So, we're expecting it for it to start to go up. Yan, nagsistabilize na ang mga news kay ISM. Miss Latel, wala na yung ano, lusot na. Wala na problema sa franchise ni Miss Latel. So, ayan, dyan pa si uh, isang Dennis Uy na magkikipag-partner kay 
uh, ISM possible in the future. Just in case na magka-problema kayo, Miss Latel, pwede nilang gamitin yung franchise ni Vol. <laughs> ni si Vol, si Converge, Converge ICT. And Nico Gutierrez, but don't worry, okay na naman yung ano eh, okay na naman yung franchise so issue. So, wala nang problema, right? It's a good, it's a go already for uh, Miss Latel. Wala nang harang, right? Tuloy-tuloy na yan. Now, we just have to wait for the official backdoor conversion of ISM to Udena which is already approved yan inintay lang yung formalities which will be la- next month all right so konting patience pa baka lumipad na yan next month all right there are concerns na baka dumami yung stocks okay lang pag dumami yan yeah. uh, mangyayari mangya- nangyari na kay TBGI ay dati maiiba lang naman yung presyo pero you still have the same value kasi dadami lang ang stocks mo uh, but it's gonna have the same value right uh, for example tatlong piso magiging 1.5 for example 6 pesos magiging tatlong piso but your stocks will double right so that's nothing to be concerned about yet so don't worry about it right Nico Gutierrez uh, good morning um, Sir Lloyd and your family pinapanood ko, ko ang the daily grind while pinapatulog ang baby ko ayan good morning sa'yo Nika I hope hindi po naiingayan si baby mo sa boses ko <laughs> Jerome Gamboa, good morning coach, good, uh, Lloyd, MHC please, ayan, Jerome, ayan, happy birthday nga pala, right, um, Jerome, ayan, may nakita kasi ako sa post, uh, sa wall mo na, happy birthday na cake sa iyo eh, so happy birthday, I don't know if it's really your birthday, but if it is, happy birthday, ko hindi, happy birthday pa rin, <laughs> Rodrigo Callos, good morning Sir Lloyd, good morning, Blake Icaros, good morning Sir Lloyd, ayan, good morning sa inyo, Ella Montifalco, good morning, uh, Rodrigo, FDC sir, si FDC nag nag pull back yan eh, di ba? Parang galing na ng galaw ni FDC. Si FLI, dog sa start na yung volume. Good day. Bull and bear. So I'm just gonna write FLI also. Kamustahin natin si FLI katabi ni FDC. All right. Um Bull and Bear, good day. And Roland Hamela, Jamela, Buenos Dias, eh, DBGI, Ma and ECP po. Let's check these out uh, in a bit. Nika Gutierrez, JFC Sir Lloyd. Uy, si JFC, hindi nagtuloy yung pagbagsak after, even after the bad news, di ba? So, nagtuloy-tuloy si JFC naman umakyat. So, that's very good. Napabenta, tuloy ako ng kalahati dahil doon. <laughs> Marlo Baroro, may buntag, Sir Lloyd. Good morning din. Anayari kay SMC, five times na binuhusan ng large volume. Kabado ako. Um, SMC, let's check it out. But fundamentally speaking, SMC, okay naman si SMC. Right, baka ma- nag-take profits lang mga tao, linipat sa ibang stocks. Right, Manuel Kadaing, let's check out MS, uh, SMC's chart in a while. Uh, Manuel Kadaing, good morning Sir Lloyd. Okay na ba bumili sa ICT? Let's check it out. ICT, one of the good companies na recommend ko yan dun sa baba. Ngayon, tumataas na eh. Ayoko na recommend kasi ang taas na. I don't want you to go after the stocks na medyo maangat na. Right, Lian Sian, Sian Lau, good morning Sir Lloyd. Mika uh, Lerman, good morning Sir GT Cap. Ah, yeah. SM, yan si GT Cap kanina nas- nakasulat din yan eh. Right. Sinulat ko yan sa picks ko, kaso nga lang um, kasi kaka- kaka-bounce lang ni GT Cap, it's looking good. I just really had to shorten my list, yun lang. So I just took out GT Cap kasi medyo mataas na rin naman ang lipad ni GT Cap. So I I place that lesser priorities kasi mas maliit na lang pwede natin mapalunun- mapanalunan dyan. Um, but still, let's check it out. GT Cap and SM, right? SM. Alright, um, Nika Gutierrez, sir, when po kaya ang seminar dito sa Leyte? Hopefully soon, hopefully soon, right? Um, next year, uh, marami po tayo may bisitahin, right? Hopefully soon, um, makapag, makagawa tayo ng seminar dyan. Alright, Abeb, Shabebs, Abeb, Shabebs. Alright, good morning, sir Lloyd, CLC po. Ayan, si CLC, nasa, nasa ano ko, nasa picks ko today si CLC. Alright, CLC is looking good. Kakabangs lang si CLC kahapon. Sas baka sumama kay ISM yan. Alright, Estela Sanchez. Ganda umaga, Sir Lloyd. Ganda umaga din. Um, Asa na yun? Biglang bumagsak yung mga comments. Uh, ayun. Nga pala guys, again, a little request from my end. Pakishare po ang video. Yun lang po ang ko. Uh, please share the video to your walls and to your training groups para mas marami pa newbies sa matulungan natin. Uh, El Razo, good morning. Uh, El Razo, good day po. MHC and ATN po. MHC, kahapon sinulat ko si MHC. Karon, andyan pa rin. And then ATN, yan. Tinanggal ko lang muna si ATN. Tignan natin si ATN. Albert Kasing, Sir Lloyd, good na umaga. Uh, Shell PH and URC. I'll write these down. Shell PH and URC. And good morning to all from Bermot. Uh, che Her- Hero. Alright, good morning. Uh, Maxine Del Rosario, good morning. Uh, labas na ba ng tell or hold lang? Si tell nag-break ng support. But somehow, andyan pa rin, hindi pa naman cut loss level. So, we'll check out tell. Alright, um, tingnan natin yung chart ni tell mamaya. 
ในโรงงานเอ้ยคริสเตียนทวาสอนมิควากุ๊ดมอร์นิ่งเซอร์ลอยด์แอนด์ไลค์ค่ะกุ๊ดมอร์นิ่งเดนริกโรเมโรเซอร์ลอยด์อัสก็ลังปอกุงสักครั้งก็บ้าบอกจะ 6.41 resistance ใน ISM ตุลิตุลุยนับปุ๊บอังอักเกตนี่ไงยอนอัตโนปอ opening price ใน ISM ไงยอน Uh, right. So I'm gonna be opening my Timson habang maaga pa para hindi na tayo maubos na ng oras mamaya. Right. So, hindi ko lang alam eh. It's, it's really, we can't really predict the market. All we, all we can do is um, guess the movement. Then if ever umakit man siya, then good. If ever hindi, then do um, do things accordingly. If you, According to your plan. If ever papasok ka kay ISM as a trader, And you think it's gonna go up? Just get in, and then if ever it doesn't go up, then just get out, right? Ba? Ganun lang naman ang trading talaga. Um, asa na yon? Um, let me go to your con um comments. Yeah, Monet. Good morning. Yes, Monet Lagman. Good morning, sir. Your insights on UBP and AP, please. Let's write these down. Yung ibang stocks, ayaw gumalaw eh. ba? Diba? Uh, Rolando Nagan, Naganhon Jr. Maayong buntag, Sir Lloyd. Watching you straight from Mexico, Pampanga. Kaya ko Mexico City na ano eh. Pampanga pala. Right? Mag- magandang umaga sa inyo dyan. Greg Sinugbuhan. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Uh, good day. Um... Pwede na ba pasukin ang SMC and TEL? Pakigreet po sa Vismin Investors and Traders Group Chat. Ayan, may Vismin Traders Group Chat pala. Right, good morning sa inyo dyan, mga Bisaya. Um, mga kapwa Bisaya ako. Right. Uh, ayan, tingnan natin si SMC and TEL. Si TEL nag-break ng support so I don't think it's good to get into. As si SMC naman, um, Nakasulat na rin yan. Check natin mamaya kasi bumabagsak na bumabagsak. Yan. Peter Pan, 27. Good morning to you all. Raymond Arano, good morning Sir Lloyd. SMC, Vita and MPI. Si Vita and MPI. Si MPI nasa picks ko ngayon. Si Vita, tingnan natin si Vita. Kamustahin natin. Raymar Mariano, good morning Sir Lloyd and Laika. Sir, insights po kay CLC. And now, eto si Now. Hindi ko na napansin ilang araw si Now. Ah. Right. Ang nga pala guys, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed to it yet. And um, it's 8:32. Time check, right? 8:40. Magsisimulan po natin discussion natin. What is the best time frame to use in trading? And so pag-usapan natin yun. Amancio Akas, good morning. Um, Jose Tomondong, good morning. God bless Sir Lloyd. God bless you too. Uh, Winterborn 14. A very chill morning, Sir Lloyd, and sa lahat ng listeners and viewers from Baguio. Uyo, si Baguio. I just read recently. Um, it reached its coldest. The f- uh, just a few weeks, a uh, few days ago, pinakamalamig na uh, araw sa Baguio the fa- past few days. So, for sure, ang lamig sa Baguio pa rin ngayon. So, mag- malamig na umaga sa inyo dyan. Ralph JVR, morning sir. IRC, Vul and SM. IRC, si Vul naman. I think di ko pa nasulat si Vul. Okay, kamustahin natin si Vul. And SM, si SM naman, yan, meron niya yan. Jose Tamundong, ECP, ABG, and SSI, sir. Let's check it that. Let's check these out. Si ABG kakabounce lang sa retracement niya. So, you can test it out. I'm not recommending it. Sobrang taas na. Nakapag-take profits na tayo dyan. So, konti ingat lang muna. John Philip Erkiza, may buntag sa mga mga, uh, mga ka-traders. Morning, bagong gupit. Yes, nagpa... Um, Pakalbo na naman ako kasi malapit na seminars, you have to look. Uh, every time na magse-seminar yan, magpapagupit ako. Or just to be presentable. JM Tolete, oh hi sir. Lloyd, oh hi gusayemas then. JFC, God bless. Let's check it out. Engineer MMI, good morning. Honey Leth, De Los Santos. Hello sir Lloyd, ano po mangyayari sa MRP holders? Um, si MRP, um magdidilis na naman. So bibilhin ni MRP yan, right? If you wanna if you want to hold it, Um, tas madilist na sila. Um, all you need to do is go to their office para um, kasi bibili nila yung stocks ninyo. Right? Kunin nyo muna yung papers sa broker ninyo and then go to the op- office of MRP so that they will buy it manually. If you want, don't want to go through the hassle of that, um, ibentin nyo lang sa market. Right? So, honey let. Yeah, so yun. Uh, Dale Kaide, good morning. Joseph Cabreros, good mor- uh, morning to all upcoming millionaires. Yeah, good morning sa inyo. Michael Resurrection. Re- Resurrection. Sir Lloyd, how 
market do you think will today will do today? Um, I think it's gonna do good, right? We we were expecting the bounce anytime soon. Yun yung title ng um, episodes natin nga, eh, The market should be bouncing anytime soon. And yun yun nag bounce nga yesterday. So I think okay, uh, aakyat na naman si market today because uh, that was the retracement we were expecting. Rainer Edward Julesa, hi, good morning. Po ano po thoughts niyo kay Didi? Let's check Didi out. Right. Uh, Honeyleth, uh, IRC, and Vul. Yan, nasulat na yan. Uh, Justin Salvador, magbuntag. Merry Christmas to all. Fuentes Kid Rocks first. Good good morning, sir. Sa 2Trade Asia, pag nag-buy or sell ka, may password pa rin siya. Thanks sa sagot. You have the option to turn it on. You can also turn it off, right? For kay 2Trade Asia. Pwede mong i-off yung password na hihingi siya ng password whenever you buy and sell because that slows you down. But for security reasons, you can always turn it on. Yun yung maganda, especially sa Prime nila. Right, well, I'm gonna make a video about uh two three issues prime anytime soon. Just looking for a waiting for a go signal from them para gumawa na ako. Right, Hernan Tiano, good morning Sir Lloyd. Pabati naman kasamahan ko dito sa Micron Manila. Nakikinig kami sa iyo araw-araw. Thank you so much sa mga nakikinig diyan sa Micron. Ayan, good morning po sa inyo. And to you Hernan Tiano, Willie Damian, good morning Sir Lloyd, newbie here and first time ko po makapanood ng live. Is there any chance makapag-seminar kay dito sa Alabang? Um, Makati, December 29. I think that's near. I'm not really good with the ge- geography of Metro Manila. So, I think kaya nyo naman kasi ako, I'm staying in Cavite, Cavite there. And medyo malayo si Makati daw, di ba? Right? So, yan, mapupuntahan ko naman yun. So, I think alabang. Okay naman. Mak- mapupuntahan nyo po yung Makati. Right? Mak- Makati, 20, uh, 29, December 29, 1 to 6 p.m. po yan, the Pento Building. Um, just check out the poster I posted about that. Justin Salvador, 2019, reko ba na ma- ang mga gaming stocks because of China coming to town? Kaya nga si H2O. I did, um, I did post a video. I mean, we did discuss about that. Yung mga possible companies na uh, possible companies na uh, makikinabang sa China visit, di ba? Si H2O isa doon. Kaya lumilipad si H2O ngayon. Check out, check, check natin si Web, but I really want Web to do an uptrend first before I wanna recommend Web. Andiyan naman si Web, nag, nagbibigay ng mga buy signal sa Web ngayon eh. Right? Kelly Stagger, may buntag, Sir Lloyd. Good morning then Honeyleth. Hello, Sir. Downtrend pa ba si Tugs? Uh, downtrend po ba si Tugs? Let's check out Tugs in a bit. Alright, so downtrend ba si Tugs? Alright. It's 8.37 time check. Um, so far, maganda naman yung price action ni Tugs. As well, nagtitrigger sa lower ball in Japan. So, baka mag-downtrend na. So, yun. Um, Dong J. Sir Lloyd, pag uh, lang po sa mga taga SEC Operations Group. Also known as ISM Epiters. <laughs> idol, po na, idol ko po namin. Lagi kami nanunood ng Daily Grind. Thank you so much, Dong J. And to you, sa group mo, uh, SEC Operation Groups, ISM Epiters, and <laughs> good morning sa inyo. Right, dapat nang average down kayo. If ever, balak nyo naman magpaipit kay ISM, dapat yung 13th month nyo, pinambilin nyo na na ISM, dapat nakapag-average down na kayo ngayon. So, good morning sa inyo dyan. Daniel Sierra, good morning po. CLI po, uh, buy more po ba? How about BRN, Pure Gold, and CPG? Si CPG, ang solid na ng support eh. Right, so, I'll write these down. Um, BRN, Pure Gold, and CPG, CLI po, si Bulan Masters. For me, CLI is a buy. Um, hindi lang, I can't tell if ngayon is a buy, but we'll check out the, ano, we'll check out the, what they call this, the chart of CLI. But overall, look, as a company, I'd say CLI is a buy. It's been doing very well, especially dito sa Cebu, and dami lang developments, right? They've been doing really well, especially their numbers. Ganda po ng mga financial reports ni CLI lately. Renanto, Renanto, Renante, Utalia. Right, sorry about that. Good morning, uh, ex Baldonado. Uh, good morning, Sir Lloyd and Like. Uh, good morning, then Pocholo Castaneda. Good morning. San po makikita bagger picks nyo? Um, tinanggal ko muna ang bagger picks ko. Um, cause they've already been bagging, especially sila Aba, sila what they call this, sila ISM, sila Or. Uh, hindi pa gumagalaw gaano. But yan, uh, I just removed that for for now. I'm um, gonna be looking for new bagger picks in a while, right? Si Perso CPG and Jan Paren sila or right? Hindi pa lumilipad eh. So I'm still, uh, sige, lalagay ko yan in the future, right? Bernadette Abio, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning to my daughter, Jasmine. Ayan, good morning, Sir Jasmine and Bernadette. Um, Mark uh, Lizazo, FLI, right? We'll check out FLI in a bit. Bermot 716, Sir Lloyd Ali po. Ayan, sila Ali lumipad kahapon na. Ah. 
Let's check out um, Ali today. Good morning, Sir Lord. ISM Investor here from Richard Cabico. Good morning. Yeah, and mga ka-investors ko, ISM, right? So, we are betting on the future of ISM, not on the current price. Remember that, okay? Jerome Gamboa, thanks, Sir Lloyd. Bir bir birthday ko talaga, green yung port ko. Ayan, Jerome is one of my students, right? She, he's now taking advantage of the, ano, um, of the bullish market. So, congrats, Jerome. Keep it up. Right? So, I'm glad na na-apply mo naman yung tinuro natin. So, if guys, if gusto nyo maru matuto talaga mag-trade, right? Like Jerome, ja join the seminars, right? Uh, happy birthday, Jerome. Bermot716, Ali, right? J. De La Fuente, Sir Lloyd, morning, M. Wide, and JFC, sir. Alright, down M. Wide. Kamusta natin si M. Wide? Angelo Rubia, dati pa lang supervisor si Coach Lloyd Nate, so good morning, TL. Yes, uh, nagmamanage ako ng team sa Converges. Yet. Um, I'm a team manager there. Mark Ronquillo, bagong gupit coach. Yes, <laughs> good day. Uh, kasi uh, gupit ko sa, sa Landers. Dito kasi sa Landers sa Cebu. If ever you have um, a receipt, pag nag-grocery kayo, libre haircut. So, tipid na yun, di ba? So, libre na haircut ko lagi. Right, Mer? Ang tipid din, eh, no? Right, Ron Galvez, Mer? Sir Lloyd, yan. Um, sulat natin si Mer. Um, sinilip ko na rin yan si Mer kanina. It's showing us a goodbye signal. So nga lang, nasa taas na si Mer. Ayoko maghabol talaga na nasa taas na yun. John Vincent Leto, sir. Mag-request ako, ako ng SMC. Dapat na po ba siyang bitawan or abang-abang pa para sa magdagdag? Uh, salamat po. Depend on your current uh, position kay SMC. Alright, let's check out SMC. Right. Um, I'm really concerned about this. Daming naipit sa SMC. Alright. Um, eto guys, um, Bollinger Band lesson ko sa inyo, di ba? Pag nag-clip yan ng red Bollinger Band, that is a bad signal, right? When it breaks MA20, yan, sabi ko sa inyo, that's always a bad signal if it breaks MA20. So, when it broke MA20, there it is, na-break niya MA20 niya, that's already a bad signal. Right? Dapat nagsisell kayo dyan if you're a trader. Pero kung investor naman kayo, we are now at buy levels, right? Palapit na tayo sa buy levels. Let's see if this is, uh, this is a, is this is gonna be holding. So, if ever, ayoko magbenta kayo, kasi andyan na tayo sa buy area, right? Malapit na tayo, possible bounce, right? Um, so, nga lang, lakas ng volume ng selling, eh. So, yun, dividends, January, X date, 12.26, Right. Ang RSI rin, ang baba na eh. So, I don't really recommend um, selling it now. Uh, especially if you're an investor, just average down. Maganda naman itong company na ito. So, don't worry about SMC that much. Right. Kung ipit kayo. Kasi if ipit kayo, then that means investors po kayo. Um, I don't think it's a good idea to sell it now. Right. And ipit na po kayo eh. Right. I have a video about what to do if ipit kayo. Do you buy more, sell, or do you do nothing? Right. This is a good company. So, I strongly recommend buy more on the bounce kay SMC. Alright. Um, yan. So, yun lang muna. Um, Erika Liwag, last lang. Good before we start the discussion. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Verify lang yun. Men, uh, hindi ko maintindihan. Men, pag nag na si ISM, Madadoble yung current stocks na hawak. Uh, depende. If ever they go through with, ano, um, uh, tawag dyan? Hindi eh. Um, hindi siya madadoble. It really depends. Pag na-confirm na yan sila, it, it really depends on their move. Ang pinaka-concern lang talaga yan, don't, don't, don't be concerned about that. Ang pinaka-concern lang natin is maglalabas yan si Udena. They're gonna be selling their stocks to the public. So, dadami ang stocks ng ISM. But I don't think they're gonna sell it cheap because of the future of Yodena. So, yun yung dapat kinoconcern natin. Don't worry about kung madudoble. Hindi pa nga sure yan eh. We, we don't really know if that's gonna happen. Right? So, yun. Um, let's start with the discussion. It's already 8.44. Before that, we wanna thank our sponsor for today's episode, 2 Trade Asia. Check out 2 Trade Asia, 2 Trade Asia .com if you're looking for a broker na mabilis and reliable. 2 Trade Asia is the broker for you. Ang ganda kasi... If ever mobile naman kayo, lagi kayong lumalabas, you have to have an app on your phone para makakapag-trade po kayo. Especially like me. Um, kasi yung iba kong, ano, iba kong uh, trading platform, sa PC ko lang nagagamit. So, mahirap. Right? So, the mobile app of 2 will really help you. So, check out 2 3 2 Also, eToro, guys. Check nyo po si eToro if you are looking for an avenue to really be an investor. Kung investor naman kayo at wala kayong oras talaga to trade 
and um, to learn how to trade. Hindi naman kayo marunong. It's good to diversify. Go to eToro. Right? Um, I have a link on eToro. Yeah, may link dyan sa baba sa video description. Uh, please use that if you want to open an eToro account. Oh, check it out. Right? Um, oh, uh, creating an account is free. Right? Um, if you create an account, makakagawa po kayo ng virtual portfolio. Click on virtual portfolio. Then, lalabas pa yung virtual portfolio nyo. You will have $100,000 na pwede nyo pong paglaruan to test out the system. But I have my real portfolio right here. So, I'm keeping my por portfolio public because pwede nyo po akong kopyahin to, uh, so that whatever I, whatever I gain, magigain din po kayo. Right? So, check out eToro at eToro.com. Libre lang po gumawa ng account. Test it out. And then, um, copy trading, uh, just click on copy people. And then, ito yung mga tao na pwede nyo pong kopyahin. Yung ports po nila are in public. Naka-public po yung port nila para makita nyo po ang, ang performance nila. Right? This is how this guy is trading. Right? Nalaki ng mga gains niya. May mga losses siya but minimal lang naman. So, yan. Makikita nyo po ang performance nila uh, the past few months. And then, you can decide if gusto nyo yung pasukin siya, tingnan yung portfolio niya, makikita no anong pinasukan niya. Hindi nga lang yung amount, right? But yeah, that's how transparent uh, eToro is. So, check out eToro, right? Um, so, now we're gonna be talking about what is the best time frame to use in trading. Gamitin natin si, paborito ng stocks uh, ang lahat ngayon, si ISM, right? As you can see, ang time frame meron dito, we can, you can, uh, select one day, three days, one week, one week, one month, three months, six months, twelve months. Meron din mas shorter, which is one hour, two hours, three hours, four hours. So, pwede kang magtingin ng early chart. Pwede ganyan. Right? Or, pwede mong gawing one minute. Pinakamaliit is one minute. Right? You see the movement every minute. So, what is the best time frame to use? Anong pinakamagandang time frame? The answer is, it depends. Anong it, it depends on what? It depends on what type of a trader you are. Right? Um, if ever, investor naman kayo, uh, don't worry. Just look at the one-day chart. You don't really have to concern yourself with the movements. Uh, ang dapat concern nyo pag investor kayo is this one right here. Yung mga numbers nila. Itong E sa chart. This is what you should be concerned about if your company is doing well or not. Right? If ever it's doing not doing well at bumabagsak dahil dyan, just get out already. Right? So, yan. So, traders. Let's talk about traders. Anyways, trading naman talang gusto natin matutunan. What is the best time frame for you? Depends on what kind of trader you are. Depende yan. So, for me, uh, this is through experience. Uh, other people can negate this because I've seen other traders use 1-minute chart, 3-minute chart, 5 minute charts and they're also successful but for me this is where i've been doing success also right i don't want to really complicate my trading kasi diba so yun um what is the best chart for number one position trader if you're a position trader or if you're a swing trader um meron kasi ano eh, um uh shorter term na trend and longer term na trend right so um Position trader, I, I just definitely just go for one day chart. Right? For example, SSI. We've been trading SSI lately. Yeah, and so, one day charts, right? So, dito, you can always see the major movements of SSI through one day chart lang. Right? You don't have to really concern. You don't have to look at the one minute charts. Right? Kasi, pag dito, tingnan nyo, makikita nyo naman yan eh. um, here, this is the one day chart of SSI this is what we've been discussing always right, one day chart of SSI we have a support at this area tanggalin ko lang yung, yung volume tsaka yung Bollinger Band, we have a support at this area makikita nyo naman yung RSI it's giving us a buy signal, diba? pataas yung RSI sideways yung support and then there it is, if you miss that right, you don't have to worry about the intraday movement intraday, umabot siya ng 2.15 uh, 13, diba? In one day, it reached a very high price from this bottom to this, right? 17% in just one day, right? You don't have to be concerned about the intraday movement na umabot siya ng 2.13, right? Kasi pag tinignan mo itong intraday na ito, mapapapasok ka dito sa drop na ito, right? Kung habang umakit yan, kung tinitignan mo ang one-day chart niyan, um, you're gonna be going inside the ano the that move right there, right? So I hope makita pa natin yan dito. 
mas medyo malayo na yun. But let's go to to our chart. Hopefully maabutan natin. But I don't think maabutan na natin 'yan. Kahit masyado malayo na 'yun. Ayun. Uh oh, here. It happened during this time, right? This is the 2-hour chart. Let's go to 1 hour. Hopefully we can still see it. There it is. And then one minute chart. Hirap ne, right? Yeah. Um, if ever tinignan nyo yon sa one minute chart, there is a big chance na makakapasok kayo jan habang umaakyat then biglang babagsak, which is pang intraday trade na yan. If you're position trading and pumasok kayo jan within the day at bumagsak yan, nako naipit kayo. Ilang araw pa kayo nakabawi. But good thing about this one is nakabawi kayo. Let's check out ISM's daily chart. I ano yung gusto ko ibig sabihin, right? Let's go to the one minute chart of ISM yesterday. Right? So one minute chart kasi ng isang stock. Let's go with Bollinger Band, di ba? So where after this Bollinger Band trigger, where do you wait, where do we usually wait for it? Sa MA20, right? Look at that right here. Nagbo Bollinger Band trigger, there it is. Ang hirap, right? So here we can find a an intraday movement of a bounce here this is a higher low this is usually a buy already right you're seeing a higher low tanggalin lang natin yung bollinger band this is usually a higher low if you plot in a trend right that is usually already a buy for the intraday so if nakapasok ka dyan, intraday tapos that because of the 1 minute chart pumasok ka dyan, um but hindi mo naman purpose to sell within the day baka bumalik yan sa baba and then hindi mo na ma hindi mo na mabenta so if you look at the 1 minute chart this is an uptrend in the 1 minute chart pasukin mo yan but make sure you constantly look at the 1 minute chart so that you can sell when it broke the uptrend line kita mo na yan intraday because this is very fine movements within the day that you're taking trying to take advantage of right so, yan, okay lang yan, 1 minute chart if you want if you're plan planning to sell it within the day because you see a ceiling uh, you you're seeing a resistance here already within the day, pwede mo na ibenta yan diyan, di ba? So ibenta mo na yan diyan si ISM if you're looking at the 1 minute chart, right? But uh it's a different ball game if you're looking at the 1 day chart na for position traders. It's a different ball game because right now on the 1 day chart okay pa naman siya. Right? So it's a different signal you're getting if you're mixing it up. If you're position trader, don't look at the one minute charts. Eh, wag nyo na pong, uh, don't, uh, wag nyo na pong stress out na sarili nyo sa one minute charts. Because it's gonna give you a different signal uh, with with a daily chart. And we're position traders, mid to long term naman hawak natin. For, uh, we're gonna be riding the uptrend. So far, uptrend pa yan. Wala pa tayong sell signal na nakikita. A sell signal of an uptrend is usually like this. Right? So we have a sell signal right there. So pwede na natin ibenta yan pag nakita natin yung pulang yan. But so far, wala pa naman tayong nakikita ang sell signal as of the moment for position trades. So, wala pa. But ang problema nito, if tinitignan ninyo ang one-day chart, e eh, position trader naman kayo, na, baka napabenta na po kayo dito. Because this is a sell signal already. Alright, let me zoom in. Sorry, nangyari sa chart. Baka napabenta na po kayo dyan. Because that's already a sell, sell signal within the day. That's a resistance right there. Right? And then bumababa na. Right, so see, it will ruin your overall strategy if you're gonna mix up the charts. Right, so for position trade, one day chart is already good. One day chart lang po tignan natin, right? For position traders, there it is. It's still good to go, right? That's for position trader. Now, the question is, are you an intraday trader? Intraday trader or momentum trader? You're trying to ride intraday movements, and that's when you look at one day charts. Right? Pinakita ko po sa inyo kanina, pag tinignan nyo po ang one-day charts, ayan. sino ba magandang stock ang galaw kahapon? Um, aside from ISM, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Tignan natin si b -Core. Tignan natin si b -Core, ha? Ang galaw ni b so sa one-day chart, a one-minute charts. Look at this right here. It's been giving us multiple signals for within the day, right? Diba? So we have a constricted Bollinger Band, and then there it is, nagkiklip na sa taas. Right? So that's a buy signal right there. Um, that's 
um, taking advantage of the intraday movement. And then during the day, and there's a sell signal already dito, right? When it broke the MA20, let me go zoom, let me zoom in. Right? When it broke MA20, that's already a sell signal actually, nag resistance na dito, di ba? And during this time, we're seeing na uh, resistance has been uh, sideways, but yung RSI pababa na. So this is a signal, this is already a sell signal right here and even broke MA20. So dapat binenta na natin dito, right? Pero kung binenta mo yan, and purpose mo naman pala is gusto mo pang sakyan yung bukas na climb ni uh, ni Bicor, baka na iwan ka na kasi umakyat pa si Bicor ulit. Right? So you have to make decisions within the day. And sinasabi ko is just sell half. But yes, this is intraday trading for Bicor. We have uh, we have a buy signal right here. Uh, we have a solid solid support. We have an engulfing pattern. I mean, an engulfing. We have a trigger of the upper Bollinger Band. We have a higher low. So, yun yung simula ng trend. Intraday, yun yung movement natin na pwedeng sakyan. And then, there it is. And then, sell signal dito. If you are gonna do intraday, ito yung sell signal mo. But if you're gonna do position trading naman, pag nagbenta ka dyan, sayang naman yung pag-akyat niya pa. Diba? Look at that. MA20 bounce. Another buy signal here. MA20 bounce. This is a sell signal right here. Diba? There, you've see, you're seeing weakness. right? You see sell signals, but this is intraday trading. right? You don't really have to concern with your intraday movements. Ang dami ko siya nakikita sa um, chat room natin. If you haven't joined the chat room yet, join the chat room. dami ko nakikita sa chat room na pag bumubuhos ang isang stock intraday, pag gumaganito, nagpapanik na, nagbebenta na yung iba. Right? If you're an intraday trader, you will be concerned about this because this is your sell signal right here. Pero kung position trader ka naman, let it be, right? Because you're gonna be watching the one-day chart naman. So kung pumasok ka doon, yan, na-maximize mo pa yung gains mo. Kasi okay pa naman, we're not seeing any sell signals yet for B Corp, di ba? So antayin mo yung one-day chart, pag pumula na yan the next day, then that's your sell signal. Our point in position trading is not really to win it all. At least overall, panalo tayo, di ba? Um, intraday traders, they want to ride the momentum of the intraday growth. So, they look at the one-minute chart. Again, so the lesson here is, do not, do not concern yourself of the intraday movement, one-minute charts, if ever position trades can, position trader can man. So, you have to be really sure of what your strategy is. Do not let the intraday movement um, concern you if ever position trade ka. Right? Kasi inaintay mo ba talaga na sell signal siya by the end of the day? Uy, by the end of the day, really, nag-sell na ang mga tao. So, uh, you you will be selling it. But if you're an intraday trader, yes, one-minute chart should be your concern. Right? One-minute charts, three-minute charts, and five-minute charts. Um, I, I know someone who uses these three para to confirm na sell signal na talaga. Kasi may, there's a possibility kasi na, you can use this in combination kasi, kasi there's a possibility na sa 1 minute chart, uh, it's gonna give you a sell signal, but in the 3 minutes, okay lang naman pala siya, hindi pa siya gaanong sell signal talaga, also in the 5 minutes. So it's up to you, but then again, it's it the 1 minute, the intraday charts, 1 minute, 3 minutes, 5 minutes, is for sh really short term traders, kaya intraday traders, momentum traders ang tawag dyan. Position traders naman, as long as the stock is on an uptrend, we're still gonna hold it. Hindi, hindi kasi ibig sabihin na sa 1 minute chart, nag downtrend na siya, it's already a sell signal because it can go down. Like, like this one right here, in in how many minutes nag downtrend ito? Right? This is important, right? In how many minutes nag downtrend si B Core? Right? This is for, let's see, how many minutes is this? Uh, date range. This is for. An hour, one hour, nag downtrend si Bicor. But doesn't mean kasi na no, sa one minute chart niya or sa five minutes chart, three minutes chart, nag downtrend siya, meaning magda downtrend ng stocks. Doesn't mean like that. It happens in the day. Um, it just takes momentum. Uh, it's just uh, gathering momentum and then there, lumipad na. Right? So this can happen. Doesn't mean na nag downtrend siya within the day, the stock is gonna go down. Right? So you really don't have to be concerned of the intraday movements. Ang dami kasing newbies pag na nakikita ito sa intraday from 276, bumagsak na ng 2.7, right? Magbebenta na. And ang ending na benta na nila not knowing what their real strategy is. Right? So, ingat dyan. Right? Don't mix your charts with an intraday chart. 
uh, intraday trader, um, if you're a position trader. If you're a position trader, I mean, if you're an intraday trader, just go with the one minute, three minutes, and five minutes. Right? You don't have really, you don't really need to concern to, to concern yourself of the one day chart. Kasi pag intraday trader ka, you're gonna be taking advantage of the everyday movement niyan. Pag nag rally na naman to, the next day, pasukin mo na naman ulit. Hanap ka ng entry point in the one minute chart before you get in again. Right? So I hope that's clear. Right? Please, uh, just a summary. The best chart for you depends on what is your strategy. If you're a position trader, one day chart is best. If you're an intraday trader, the best is the one minute chart, but you can use one, three to five minutes too as a, as a combination para makita mo talaga yung movement. Because the shorter the time frame is, the more sensitive it is, and makaingay lang yun. It's just sudden movements na really not relevant, but it's it can it can what do you call this it can change your uh it, you can make decisions out of them na baka mali yung decision niyo because it's too sensitive right don't be too sensitive um 135 should be good as combination if nakita ka na sell min, sell signal sa 1 minute chart tingnan mo yung 3 minute charts and 3 minute chart niya sell signal then even those two lang sige magbenta ka na if the intraday trader, you're if you're an intraday trader, we'll make a video about intraday trading in the future. So, pero then tinitingnan one minute chart, oi, nag sell signal na sa one minute chart. Tingnan niya 3 minute chart, sell signal then. Pag tingin niya sa 5 minute chart, yes, it's also sell signal in the 5 minute chart. Then he's gonna sell. Right? So, one minute chart, you see he's seeing him buying. There were tingnan niya sa what sa 3 minute chart, wala pa, a false signal pa yon. So, hindi niya bibilhin muna. So, he uses 1 minute and 3 minutes, right? Pag 1 minute, it's already buying. It's at 3 minutes, it's also buying already. Then he's gonna buy intraday. So, may combinations na ganun. That's why it's important na identify mo talaga kung anong classing trader ka. It's really important. Angelo Rubia, very good. That's one of my lessons sa seminar talaga. There's a saying that says, if you don't know who you are, the stock market is a very expensive place to find out. You have to be really sure what kind of a trader you are. Sir Lloyd, okay lang ba to use one minute chart to get into a good entry for a position trader? Um, pwede, pwede naman to, to use a one minute chart to really get in the best position as a position trader. Pwede naman yun, right? Um, but ang the best kasi is as long as yung one day chart maliit naman yung risk mo you don't really have to concern of the one one minute movement if you really want to maximize your entry sige pwede naman gamitin yun right but not necessarily right very good question will uh, you can do that to really look for a good entry for example sa one day chart mo you're a position trader and you say it's i'm going to get in today pero tingnan ko within the day kung saan magandang pumasok so you can do that but me kasi, I don't usually, napaka-stressful na one-minute chart for me. I don't really want to complicate my trade. Um, after, in the middle of the day, if I see that it's holding strong, and then, yes, tiniting, sinisilip ko ang one-minute chart. Uy, it's uh, it's already, uh, it's already what they call it, stable naman sa one-minute chart niya. So, I'm just gonna get in. Kasi overall, nakikita ko naman sa one-day chart na uh, uh, bullish na siya, buy signal na siya. Uh, hi, Neil Bersamin. Uh, paano po set up ng cut loss nun, Sir Lloyd? What if may hit na yun sa, yun sa intraday one minute? Um, cut loss kasi, for example, you enter a stock. Sino ba magandang stock na nasa support ngayon? Si Tel. Let's, let's look at Tel. Right, so, one day chart ni Tel, ito. This is my position. Right? I remember recommending Tel yesterday right? because of this buy signal right here. But then again, Ayan, may, bells, buy, may buy signal si Tel, di ba? So, I recommended it yesterday, but it failed. It even triggered the lower Bollinger Band. So, sa so mga pumasok kay Tel, konti ingat, right? Um, this for me is okay already. What Regardless, one minute chart pa yan or one day chart, if ever it hits below my, uh, it hits my cut loss levels, for, for example, eto, my cut loss level is around 3% below support. So, dapat nanado ko na ito around mm, 1,121. If it is hit, if it was hit 1, 1, 2, 1 within the day, bibenta ko na yan. Regardless of the 1 minute chart or anything, I don't look at the 1 minute chart on my cut loss. I don't look, I don't look at the daily chart. I look at the price. Because planado ko naman to pag entry ko. If ever pumasok ako dito, my cut loss is already at 1,120. If ever that's hit, regardless of the minute chart, I'm gonna sell it already. Right? 
So, ganun lang sa cut loss. You have to be really, ano, you have to be really uh, diligent in your cut loss. Kung yun yung pressure, just get out. Don't hope na baka mag-bounce pay, right? Sir, thanks for discussing this. This is exactly what I'm asking you. Last night sa PM ko, hindi ko lang na put into words, right? That's why it's important to identify, right? Um, actually, parang pro ng first Metrosec ang platform ng 2 Asia. Yes, that, that is right, Roy Anthony. They have the same uh, developer. Parang first Metrosec din yung ano, sa 2 Asia. Right. Um, Sir Lloyd, ganda ng platform ng 2 Asia. Nakita ko ang review sa YouTube. Sana pwede mag-open ng 5K after the seminar. Yes, if ever, maka, um, maka-join kayo ng seminar ko sa December 29. That's what uh, 2 3 Asia is promising us. Part ng uh, ano nila, promotion nila is if ever mag-join kayo sa seminar, you can open an account for just as low as 5K. Dapat 25K yan eh. Tapos bibigay nila sa atin ng 5K. So that's very good. Gusto ko sana mag intraday pero numura gamit ko, nakaka-stress mag-trade. No, don't. Nomura is for investor. It's good for investor, but I don't recommend using Nomura as your platform for intraday trading. Bermot, thanks for the lesson. You're welcome. Sir, paano po malaman kung anong bagay na trading strategy for you? I have a lesson about that. Um, it's uh, I have a video about that, Bleak Icaros. You can search for it. It's called the ano, Profiling. Ayan, profiling ang title ng video na yan. Sir, same indicators pa din paggamit intraday and position trading. Yes, I use the same uh, I use the same indicators, right? For for my intraday trades, right? Kung nag intraday trade man ako. Tyron have your same uh Sir Lloyd SDR and AC. Thanks for thanks for discussing this. Right. Thanks projected price ng ISM please. Thanks 6.22 6.28 ang projected ISM price daw. So that's good, right? So let's start with the disc, uh with the picks ko today. Right, let's check out ISM lang muna, 6.26. So, that's gonna be a good start for ISM. That's a very healthy opening. So, hindi at least hindi na nagkakagulo ang mga tao maghahabol kay ISM. Hindi na nag-gap up, hindi na nag-gap down. So, that's good. Um, sir, kung position trader ka ba, kailan dapat bumili? Opening or closing? Kailangan pa rin ba i-monitor ang market for the whole day or pwedeng mag-decide ng EOD? What I usually do is, Ako kasi is pinag-aaralan ko ang mga stocks uh, the day before. Uh, may lista kasi ako eh, right? Um, so, meron na akong mga inaabangan na stocks for tomorrow. Iniintay ko lang yung bounce. So, usually, pwede ako mag-EOD. It really depends on your uh, on your ano, on ano your strategy, right? For example, ganito, ganito sa mga picks ko. Pwede nyo within the day pasukin, right? It really depends on your risk uh, tolerance kasi ganito yan. Um, for example, nag-recommend ako ngayon. Number one sa recommendation ko si VLL. Right? For example, si VLL. Right? Si VLL, ayan, nag-doji siya, but overall, ang ganda ng position ni VLL. Right? Uh, let's check out the volume. Bakit ko nareko si VLL? Ayan, may magandang volume. So usually, pag ganito, within the day, within the morning, I'm gonna get in. Okay lang sa akin. Kasi I'm not... I'm not getting in VLL because of the intraday movement kasi ang iba kasi na tao, iniintay nila na umakyat. Uy, umaakyat na si VLL at na-recommend ito. Pero pag umakyat yan, nasa 5.27 na yan. So, mahirap na pumasok. 5.27, 5.3. Doon papapasukin ng mga tao. So, ako, as I'm looking at the inter, uh, the daily charts, I don't really uh, I don't really care about the intraday movement. I am an aggressive player. So, papasukin ko na kaagad yan. And then, if ever my cut my cut loss is hit, magka cut loss lang ako. Other people are conservative. It's good to be conservative din naman. But it really depends to you. So, iba namang tao, antayin pa to ng end of the day. Ang problema sa, ang maganda sa end of the day, at least meron kang confirmation talaga of the bounce. What if eto, ganito. Sorry. What if ganito pa yan? And then, nag-aantay ka pa ng isa pang confirmation. Um, like this one right here. So, nag-aantay ka ng confirmation end of the day. But what if pag end of the day, let's ch check out ISM, right? So what if, for example, ganito. And mga tao nag-aantay ng bounce dito. But what if at the end of the day, inantay mo pa yung end of the day, umabot na ng 24% ang bounce. Ang taas na. For example, ito naman. Um, ito, we have a bounce right here. Right, so this is already a buy signal for ISM, di ba? Right, so what I usually do is the next day, papasukin ko na kaagad yan. Anyways, I'm looking at the one-day chart. Pasok na agad, agad ako the next day. Right, pagpasok ko na the next day, ayun, nakapasok ako, umakyat naman siya. Ang problema kasi sa ibang tao, iniintay pa nila umakyat ulit before sila pumasok and wait for the end of the day. Usually, the others wait for the end of the day. Ang ending niyan, 
if you wait for the end of the day, look at what happened to you. Hindi pa kayo nakapasok ngayon. Your risk is already negative 15%. Ang laki na ng risk ninyo. So, if you... It really depends on you. I am an aggressive player. Anyways, kasi alam ko naman ang ginagawa ko. So, I, I can afford to be aggressive. I will enter right away after this right here. Negative 8 na nga yung risk ko dyan eh. Diba? So, actually, my higher low is right here. So, negative 7. Sa support pa lang yan. So, medyo mataas na. Diba? So, pag bounce pa lang yan, sana, pinasok na natin. But here, wala tayong choice. It's already at negative 7%. Maka mafumo pa tayo. Anyways, I'm an investor here. Papasok na ako dyan. I don't really care about the intraday movement anymore. Because, anyways, position trader naman ako. And also, I'm an investor here. I don't really care about the movement that is happening in the day. If the chart tells me it's already there's already buying there, I'm gonna buy already. Diba? So, you don't have to worry about that. Ang problema kasi ng mga tao, they want to maximize their entry. You don't have to do that if you're an investor. Ang, invest, ang ibang tao, investor ako, pero hanapin ko yung pinakamababa sa bounce. Pag ending yan, hindi mo nasakyan ng bounce, uh, hanapin mo na naman ng next entry, sana bumalik doon. Kasi hindi na bumalik, ayan, hindi kayo makakapasok niyan. Right? So, you don't have to, again, concern yourself of the interday movements. If the chart is telling you that there's a buy already, just buy it right away. Then, pag na-hit yung cut loss mo, then that's when you cut loss. Right? Huwag masyadong, huwag nyo pong, that's already greed playing you. Right? Ang gusto ng ibang tao, um, yung hinahanap ng mga tao is the perfect entry point, is the perfect selling point. Our goal here is not to win everything, but our goal here is to win. Kahit na hindi mo pupasukin yan sa pinakamababa, mananalo ka pa rin yan. And there it is. It's already winning. Diba? So, at least we're winning kahit hindi natin napasok yan si pinakamaba, pinakamaba. Right. So, yan. Um, Jeff C297 projected opening. Ayan. Pakisagot na lang po kung sino mga nag-ask nag na mga projected opening. Lawrence Scott, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Paano po ang reservation at specific place po ng Butuan City and seminar nyo po? Thanks, Miss Oak Traders. Ayan. Um, I have a poster. Send me a message. I send ko ulit sa inyo lahat ng detail. Send me a message sa Facebook ko. Right. So, first pick ko for today. Recommendation. Si VLL. VLL because we have a bounce confirmation right there. Nag doji lang siya but the volume is already picking up. So, I'm recommending VLL. Very low risk position for a good company. This is good to buy. We have a sideways support pero RSI is already going up. Everything is a buy for VLL. Hindi ko lang alam kung gagalaw ka agad yan. But this is a very good position. Upuan yun na yan. Uh, CLC. Alright, CLC. Pababa ang support but we have a bounce. Sasama kay ISM ito. Uh, RSI, I don't think RSI is do going up naman. So, it so, doesn't really matter. I'm I'm looking at CLC as a, uh, what they call this, uh, as the brother of ISM, as the third telco. That's, a bounce, that's the bounce we're waiting for. Volume is already starting to pick up. So, I'm recommending CLC. Just use this as your support if ever bumagsak man si CLC. But, napakaganda kasi ng mga catalyst ni CLC at ISM. So, I'm recommending CLC. AEV. AEV naman. Ayan. Kakabounce lang sa MA20. We have a confirmation. The volume is not there. So, konti ingat lang. If you wanna test this out, use MA20 as your support for AEV. But, that's an uptrend right there for AEV. Ayan. That's the uptrend right there. So, usually naman sa bounce, maliit naman yung volume. Then, magpipick up na naman ulit yan before it really goes up. So, yeah, you can test that out for AEV. Use that MA20 as your support. Next up, sa JGS. Ayan, si JG Summit. And JG Summit, we have an uptrend bounce. Higher low, we have good price action right here. So, kaka-bounce lang. You can use that bounce as your support for JGS. Maxis. Ayan, si Maxis, hindi ko pa rin tinatanggal. Si Maxis, kahapon, lumipad. Kaso nga lang, nag, uh, bumaba ulit. But still, that support has sustained. We have, we have good volume. So, this is something we want to look into, this support right here. So, test out this support. Now, break na ni Maxis ang downtrend niya. That's the downtrend yesterday. Na break niya kahapon. Right? Um, it did not sustain, but the support is holding. So, um, hold pa rin natin. I mean, hawakan pa rin natin. Right? Actually, ito na pala yung downtrend line niya. Oops. This right here. Ayan. So, Na action yung break kahapon. We are there, right? Um, I think this is gonna be a breakout, but if you wanna be sure, just wait for the breakout kahapon. Look at this. Ato yung problema. Kung gusto nyo mag pumasok sa umaga, umakyat naman siya, 
but at the end of the day, it did not sustain. So, ito, pa, ito rin yung advantage ng mga nag-end of the day, right? So, it failed, so hindi sila nakabili, so baka bumaba ito sa support, di ba? So, just wait for the breakout. May advantage naman talaga end of the day trading. Ma, you will be, uh, maiwasan mo rin ang ganito if you wait for the end of the day. So, yan. Um... M, uh, but Maxis, I think Maxis is looking good in the coming days. Antay lang tayo ng confirmation sa kanya before you wanna get in. But look at Maxis na. Maganda na yan. MHC, yan. Si MHC, yes guys, nag-breakout na si MHC. And that will be your support for MHC. We were expecting MHC to break out yesterday and nag-breakout siya. Volume was there. Nagkachupitan lang. But yes, I think this is good already for MHC. You can use this resistance as your support now for MHC. DNL. Right, tinignan natin to si DNL kahapon. The uh, it's red yesterday, but look at the price action, it's doing good, right? The volume is already picking up, pataas na yung volume niya. So I think DNL is good. This is a good support already for DNL. We had an engulfing pattern right here. 1 2 3 candlesticks na kapag engulf dito. So I think this is going to do sideways. We can test out the support already. Test buy niyo na yan. Right, maganda na yung position ni DNL. And then MPI Nothing to worry about DNL. DNL is a good company. MPI, look at that. MA20 bounce. So use MA20 as your support. We have an uptrend line right here for MPI. Ito lang muna ang picks ko for today. Alright, I'm gonna go to your uh, questions. Nina, IRC. Kamustayin natin si IRC. And IRC, yun. Good bounce yesterday for IRC. Kaya pala hindi ko na to recommend yesterday because... It's already high risk. It, it has good volume, right? Ang ganda ng volume ni IRC kahapon. Sabi sa inyo, you just stick to the fundamentals. We were we were looking at IRC. Narecommend ko si IRC dito, di ba? Uh, I recommended IRC two days ago when we saw the support bounce right here. At pumula siya the other day. But I told you, um, nagsusustain naman yung support. And there it is. Nag-collapse lang. Nag-panic selling. Yung mga nagbenta, binili lang ng mga tao. Right? So, IRC... It's good to buy, especially if you're in it for the fundamentals. This is a good uh, buy avenue. Yan, hindi ko lang siya ni-recommend today for position trading because medyo mataas na ang risk natin. Right? So, dapat dito pa lang sa baba, bumili tayo. Dapat dito eh. Ni-recommend ko na to dito eh. Then, bumaba pa nga siya sa support. That was our best uh, best entry point sana for IRC. Hindi ko na-recommend si IRC ngayon kasi medyo mataas na. But if you're an investor, this is a good avenue to average down. That's a higher low, guys. So, napakaganda niyan. May question about SCC. Ay, tingnan natin si SCC. Uh, sir, iniisa-isa niyo ba lahat ng companies sa PSEI palagi to get good picks? Dami kasi companies para ma-filter it. I have my own list of uh, fundamentally good companies. Yun yung tinitingnan ko isa-isa every day. Lahat ng mga magagandang companies, yes, tinitingnan ko yan. I spend time in preparation. This is a very good question for Ty from Tyron. Right? Um, I spend time in preparation talaga. If you want to be a trader, the more time you put into studying the companies, the better you are, right? So I spend time really in in these companies and then yun yung chinecheck ko araw-araw. Mabilis na lang naman yan eh kasi sa lista ko, lalagay ko si, si for example, eto si SEC, wait for the bounce. Tingnan ko lang, silipin, oy, kahapon, inintay ko yung bounce ni SEC. Tingnan ko ngayon, ay wala pang bounce. Bukas, tingnan ko, oy, ayan na yung bounce. So, yun na, papasokin ko sa SEC. It just takes me around 10 seconds to check a stock kasi everyday ko naman tinitingnan yan. So, have around 20 to 30 good stocks na gusto mo talagang bilhin. Hindi yung talon kayo ng talon kung ano, ano yung mga recommendation ng ibang tao, yun yung papasukin nyo. No, you have to have your own list of companies and sit down on those companies. For example, you have five, ISM, ATN, uh, SMPH, JFC, BDO. Yung lima lang yan ang uupuan mo as much as possible. Right? You have to know these companies by heart and then check them out every day. Tignan nyo yan every day wait for the buy signal. Hindi yun, uy, yung mga companies ko, wala pang buy signal, so maghanap lang muna ako ng iba. That's bad trading, right? Sit down. Wait for the buying signal of the companies you know by heart. You have to know companies by heart. And wait for the signals before you wanna get in. Hindi yung talon ng talon, uy, sa limang na gusto ko, wala pa namang buy signal, so hanap lang ako ng iba kasi may pera naman akong bili agad. Right? Sayang. Pag pinasok mo doon, bibigyan ka ng, sell sig uh, ng buy signal sa company na gusto mo. Wala na. Andun na yung pera mo sa kabila eh. Ang ending, ang dami ng stock support mo tuloy. So, that's wrong trading. Right? There's money in sitting down. Antayin nyo lang po yung buy signals ng mga companies that you know by heart. You know, you believe by heart. 
right? Yung AM po or um, Jojo Amba, 6.30 na kaya SM, STR, very good, st- uh, strong, uh, strong start for, uh, what they call this, for uh, ISM today. SEC, wait, uh, maganda naman yung ano ni SEC, price action niya. Overall, the price is very good, right? Antay nyo lang yung green ni SEC and then that will be your entry point. Yung volume kasi ng pag downtrend. Anyways, price action is good here, right? Antay lang natin yung green ni SEC before we really wanna check out SEC's, um, what they call this, uh, SEC's climb. Ang problema ko kay SEC is this one, the negative 79. So, I don't really trust those kinds of numbers. So, konti ingat lang muna kay SEC. But overall, ang ganda ng bottom na ito. Pag nag-green yan, that is a buy area kasi ang, meron tayong divergence dyan. So, SEC, wait for the bounce. Next is ISM. ISM, I think ISM still good to buy today, especially for investors. Pero kung trader kayo, that's already high risk. So, baka sabihin ng iba, buy signal yan, eh, sell signal na tayo. Pag nagsa-celebrate ang mga tao, the ISM holders are already celebrating. Again guys, if people are celebrating, that's a sell signal. Huwag, niyo, huwag po kayong mag- magkakamali dyan. Right. For ISM, uh, I don't recommend it for... Um, Traders, investors, yes, kaka-breakout lang yan, mga investors. So, that's a sign na na-break na yung downtrend. So, that will be your average down point. Next is web. Right, kamusta natin si web? Web is in my list for today. We have a higher low for web. Na-break na na yung downtrend niya. Right, so, yeah, this is a good buy signal for web. Right, kasi nga lang yung volume. That, that's the one that's making it shaky. But overall, this is a very good support for web. Right, so, web is a buy for me. Right, kung continue tignan nyo po si Web. Next is B-Core. May nangyos about B-Core. B-Core, mataas na yan. Right, huwag nyo na po hahabulin yan. Masyado mataas na yan. Uh, uh, Sir Lloyd, good morning. Pasuyo po ng STI, CH, uh, CHIB, CHP. How many stocks are advisable to hold? 5, 10, or 20? Start with 5. If kakasimulan mo lang, Bermot, start with 5. Right? Yung lima nga, hindi nyo po ma-handle ng maayos. Ano pa kayo yung sampo? Diba? Mahirapan kayo niyan. So, start with five as much as possible. Hanggang lima lang ang hawakan ninyo. Right? Um, next, dito si Bicor. Huwag nyo na po habulin si Bicor. Masyado mataas na yan. Uh, IRC. We talked about IRC already. CHP. Ito, may question about CHP. Right? Again, CHP's price action is doing good. Technically speaking, maganda naman yung galaw ni CHP. Right? We have a support right here. But again, with my trading bias, number one sa trading bias ko is the fundamentals. This is very questionable for CHP. Negative 131% lang ang uh, negative 131% third quarter earnings nila. So, I don't really like this. So, fundamentally speaking, I don't want to recommend CHP. Um, even if technicals are looking well. right? We have a support right here. I don't want to recommend CHP. Right. So, yeah, uh, if you want to go in CHP, antay nyo lang po yung bounce if gusto nyo pumasok. And the end of the day, pag nag-bounce yan, pwede nyo pasukin. But for recommendations-wise, I don't want to recommend it. Doon lang kayo sa magandang company. There's maganda pa yung position. Right? Diba? Sila VLL. Diba? So, mas maganda doon. Mas sure. Vulcan naman, ayan, huwag nyo na po habulin. Just wait for it to do a breakout before you really want to get in Vulcan. But Vulcan is looking good. Right? PLC naman, uh, PLC, masyado mataas na po yan. Antayin nyo lang po yung retracement yan because that's too high already. We talked about MHC already. It's in my picks. For the FDC, ito si FDC. Nag-higher low bounce na si FDC. Right, so, kind of shaky. I don't really like these kinds of positions, uh, especially for IDC. So, if you really uh, want to wait for it to Taas na eh, right? These are, these are FOMO levels already. Wait for it to do a retracement or meet MA20. At least may base po kayo. Can't really call this a base because this is possible consolidation lang kasi eh. Baka bumaba pa po ito MA20. So, I'd rather wait for it to go near MA20 or make a clear retracement before I wanna get in or at least do a breakout na lang as much as possible. At least may base ako. Huwag nyo na po habulin nyo sa FDC. Masyado mataas na yan. FLI na lang. Ito si FLI. Alright. Bounce MA20. Uy, si FLI. Kakabounce na MA20. I did recommend FLI here sa bottom. There it is. Bounce MA20. I guess it's a buy already for FLI. Mas pwede nyo pasukin yan. Volume nga lang is... Oh yeah. Their volume is there. Um, usual volume ni FLI. Maliit lang. But yeah, that's a buy signal already for FLI. So, pwede nyo itest si FLI if you want. Um, TBGI... It's 9.24, last last two stocks na lang guys, pasensya na if hindi ko po masagot. 
wait for TBGI to really do a breakout before you wanna get in. Kasi ang hirap ng position na habuli ni si TBGI ngayon. So, wait for it to do a breakout on that, from that resistance line before you wanna get in. And lastly lang guys, pasensya na if hindi ko masasagot ma lahat, MAH. Alright. Uh, MAH. and So, MAH. Ganda na uptrend line ni MAH. Eh, right? So, we have good uptrend line right here. Kaso nga lang na-break. So, wait for it at MA20 lang sa MAH. Konti ingat lang kasi paliit na yung volume niya. Eh, right? So, maybe MAH has reached its peak. I really don't like these kinds of movements. Tingnan nyo ito guys. This is a bearish this is a bearish movement. Right? Uh, tanggalin ko sa Bollinger Band. Last lang ito. Right? Lessons ko sa inyo sa RSI divergence. Pataas ang, ang resistance. But, RSI's resistance is going down. That's a bearish divergence, alright? Tignan nyo po ulit yung binibigay ko sa inyo lagi na uh, cheat sheet about um, RSI divergence. Here it is. Um, you can print screen kung ayaw nyo ma-download. Yan, print screen nyo po. Pataas ang RSI. I mean, pataas ang presyo ng resistance. But RSI's resistance is going down. That's bearish. So, ma has been showing us a bearish signal. So, konting ingat po dyan. That's a bearish signal for ma. And the volume is starting to go down. <clears throat> so, konti ingat mo na kay Ma. Right, so that's it for today. It's 9.26 already. Pasensya na if hindi ko masasagot lahat. Um, good luck sa market today. Enjoy the market. Again, butuan this Sunday po. Send me a message if you wanna join that. Huwag niyo po sasayangin. Ang ganda po ng seminar. Um, next week, December 22-23, sat sun. Sa mga hindi makaka-join sa venues, I have online seminars. 9 in the morning. Saturday, Sunday, 9 in the morning. And then, December 29 po. Um, Manila, Makati send me, uh, send me a message so that I can send you the details huwag nyo po sasayayin yung opportunity seats are limited so nafe-filled na po konti pa unti-unti right? so, baka po maubusan kayo ng seats I'll see you then again, enjoy the market as always, let's get rich together have a great day guys, bye bye oh.